Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia. It could be almost any Kia model guys. And if you want to know how to tell if rear shocks need to be replaced, if they're bad, stay with us. We'll explain that in this video today. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try guys to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now if you need to buy new parts tools new shocks for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money that way so this is guys a rear shock out of a Kia Optima right here now uh, how shocks can go bad okay shocks are supposed to have pressure guys in them so you should not be able to compress them fast and you should not be able to pull them out uh, fast as well so let's go ahead okay and demonstrate that okay what we are talking about uh, if the shock just goes in on its own it means it's completely done so uh, shocks now okay you can see you shouldn't be able to compress them fast and you shouldn't be able to pull them out fast okay you can see otherwise if they go super easily they're done guys now uh, uh, let's explain something else if you see guys the shock that has oil around it it means that the seal guys okay inside started failing it will come around the stem and that oil and gas will start leaking out a little bit so if you have a little bit of oily surface with dust stuck on top of it that will guys cause okay the shock to actually uh, practically be done very soon another thing you may develop noises from the shock mount okay where you have guys the rubber bushing here if it's worn cracked that can cause noise and rattle okay when you hit pothole uh, this is actually the shock absorber uh, let's say you hit a really really big bump okay that's like soft material that will prevent it from banging okay right here this is not so important uh, another thing okay how to tell you have bad shocks if you guys uh, drive down the road and all of a sudden you hit let's say a pothole and you kind of like feel the rear tire bouncing all over the place kind of like a basketball it's very likely it's a bad shock another thing okay uh, you at the same time you may feel the car unstable floaty and the steering wheel will try to overcorrect it because that bouncy tire will make the vehicle un really unstable or if you're on the highway and you hit a bump or even at lower speeds and the car keep bouncing more than one time it's supposed to hit the bump and stop okay if it keeps bouncing that's bad shocks on the rear as well guys uh, if the rear end is bouncing most likely bad also taking turns at higher speed will make the vehicle really unstable and you will kind of like try to uh, lose traction as well something else if you hit the brakes all of a sudden and you feel the rear coming loose okay kind of like come up and the front end dipping really in this one is because the shocks will not be holding and they will just come up all of a sudden and it will increase your stopping distance which can lead to accidents because you will not be able to stop so fast as well now something else guys if you accelerate all of a sudden and you feel okay that the rear end of your shock is actually guys uh, the, the rear end of your car is actually dipping in it's very likely you have bad shocks as well sometimes you may hear noise and rattles not just from the shock mount but from failing shock as well hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing that help if you need uh, any any more help leave a comment below in the comment section and we'll try to make a video when we have chance so thank you for watching and see you next time